So this is without a doubt the coolest art trick I've created in a long time. That's right, I'm back with another special effect drawing. After a very successful first season of drawing cool looking effects on a simple piece of paper, it's time to buckle up because we're kicking off season 2. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future episodes. I hope you're as excited as I am, because in this first episode of the new season, you will learn how you can achieve this x-ray effect that's only visible with an old school pair of 3D glasses. Bruh. Now, to give a little bit of background about this effect, if I'm not mistaken, this is officially called an anaglyph effect, and I first came in contact with it through the work of street artist Insane51. His stunning pieces are created with the help of Photoshop, but I want to keep it the traditional way. So solely using a piece of paper with only a limited amount of art supplies. And it took a long time to figure this out. But I guess it's time to get started with the first step in the tutorial. So I hope you're ready for this exciting journey. Let's start by grabbing ourselves a piece of paper, because in this first step we're going to be sketching out the blue design or in other words the image visible in the blue part of the 3d glasses so here's the deal with the blue design the images visible through the blue channel are actually all normal images you see normal spongebob normal pokeball normal banana which means you can just draw whatever you like here however there are a few things you need to pay attention to as the designs i just showed you all meet a certain criteria the design you create will have a black outline but will only be filled in with two shades of blue color a light blue and a dark blue. So to clarify these design requirements a bit more, let's look at my fish example here. So requirement number one is that your design will have a black outline. In my case, all the pencil you see over here will eventually be turned into a black outline. And then two, there's a possibility to color this in with two shades of blue color. You don't have to use two colors, you can also use one, but these are your options. So I think in my fish design, I'll use a light blue for the head and the fins, and then a dark blue for the body. So as long as you keep these things in mind you're good now let's proceed to step number two which involves sketching out the hidden parts that will become visible through the red filter here it is important to understand the key principle behind this effect so once you go from the blue filter to the red filter basically something will appear now the thing you want to make appear inside the sketch we just made we're gonna sketch it directly on top of it. There are again a few requirements. One of them being that you have to make sure you draw inside the confines of the contour. So here in my fish example, I want to make fish bones appear as soon as you go from the blue to the red filter. This is just the start of the second sketch, but as you can see, it nicely fits inside the border of the first sketch. Secondly, keep in mind the design visible in the red will not have an outline. It will only consist out of an area of solid color. So the crazy fish bones I'm drawing here may not be the best example to show you in this tutorial. Bruh. But I just really wanted to include my own signature doodle style inside this drawing. I mean, these images are cool, but I didn't invent Spongebob, if you know what I mean. So that's why I decided to draw this unique fish. Which is, by the way, inspired by this doodle we made on Patreon last weekend. So if you're not a Patreon yet, go check out my page. And on that note, let's gather our art supplies because we're about to color in our sketch. The markers I used for all these drawings are called Posca markers. So if you have Posca markers, you can just use the following colors. We have a light blue, a dark blue, light pink, pink, red and black. But the fact is, postcard markers are definitely not a necessity. You can use whatever art supplies you want, pencils or paint, as long as they match the following colors. So now, let's explain the inner workings of how these colors work in practice. It's also the most tricky part, so make sure you don't skip ahead on this one. So the best way to approach the coloring part is to think in three pairs of color. You have the light pink and light blue, the dark pink and dark blue, and the red and black. Take now for example the light blue and light pink. The key idea is when you draw something with the light pink inside the light blue and you look through the blue filter of the 3D glasses, the pink will completely disappear in the blue. Okay, it's definitely not completely perfect, but once you have a lot going on in your design, the blue and the pink almost become indistinguishable. So this same idea then also applies to the dark blue and dark pink and to the red and the black. And now comes the moment of truth when we switch from the blue to the red. Da -da -da -da. All the pinks and the red will become visible. Nothing to see here. Bam. And that's the magic of it. So with this bit of knowledge, we're going to be coloring in 
our sketch. So now the absolute most fun part of this tutorial can begin and that's adding in the colors to the sketch we just made. First, let's start with the outline. So we're kicking things off easy. Just use your black Posca marker to ink the outline of the sketch. And I'm talking about the sketch we made in the first step of the tutorial. So that doesn't include the x-ray parts. There you go, outline, done. Now it's time for the coloring. And I already stated before that in my fish example, I want to make the head together with the fins light blue and then the body dark blue. So let's for example start with the dark blue, which means we will have to pick this pair of colors to color in this section of the fish. I prefer to start with the pink color before going in with the blue, because once the pink is in place you can easily go over it with the blue to create smooth edges, which doesn't work that well the other way around. And the most delicate work is behind us now, let's take a look. Perfect, this is exactly how it's supposed to look, so let's now move on with the lighter colors. The fins of the fish don't have some hidden part inside them, so I can just color them in with plain blue. The tail on the other hand, in its hole, needs to be visible in the red filter, and therefore I color it pink. So far, so good. To be fair though, the fins and the tail were not the hardest part. Let's continue with the head. Almost done, only thing left to do is to add a little bit more details and we're gonna be doing that with our last pair of colors. Here I can use the black and red color to create some texture on the fish. I just have to keep in mind, I place the black on top of the blue and I place the red on top of the pink. And just like that, our drawing is done. Well, there you go, that was the entire tutorial. I hope it made sense. This effect was a rather difficult one to explain. So if you have questions, make sure to drop them in the comments down below. And while you're there, let me know what effect I should do next. Also, if you're gonna create your own 3D glasses effect drawing, make sure to share it with me on Instagram by tagging me and using the hashtag BAMSWAY. And you know what? If 25 people make a 3D glasses effect drawing, I'm gonna be doing another giveaway video. And then last but not least, if you want to support my art journey even further, make sure to check out my web shop and my Patreon page. And on that note, I wish you all good luck and then we see each other very soon in a new video. Thanks for watching and take care.